Hello everyone! Welcome to the Q&A video! It's me, Plex, and I will be answering all your questions. Okay, the first question comes from our good friend Alex, and she says, Hey, can you do a video of you reacting to this awesome YouTuber named Sam the Ham? Oh, that's a good question, but who should do the reaction? All of you! Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. Ow, ow. Yeah, I don't think all of us are going to be able to fit here. Maybe we should just have a few of us react. That's better. Whoop. Okay, so what are we watching again? Um, Sam the Ham. Alright, guys, let's watch this. Hey, I like this guy. Yeah, me too. Wow, that was pretty cool. Thanks for suggesting that. The next question is from a person named Valentin Aranda. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, they say, I'm so excited. This is the best thing ever. I know this is really exciting, but that's not a question. Sorry. Anyways, the next question is from Kyler Chapman. And he says, can you get Mickey Mouse to live at Kate's place? Also, can you do toy reviews? Well, as for your Mickey Mouse question, I'm going to say that the answer is no. Mickey Mouse will not come to Kate's place. <laughs> because he's already here! Oh boy! As for your toy reviews question, sure! Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the toy oven used in the Cooking with May May show. Guys, you're not supposed to say that it's a toy. Then people will know that the oven's not real. Sorry, May May, but the show must go on. Anyways, here it is. It's a Disney princess oven that I got a long time ago. And here's what it looks like from the bottom. See, it's got these cute little stickers. I actually added this one. This one didn't come with the oven, but these ones did. And I just added them, and they look really pretty. They've got this button and knobs. And on the top, it's got this cute little shelf thing. And it came with lots of pieces, so also I lost a f quite a few of the pieces right now, so yeah, it came with this little display thing for all your baked treats. And it came with this little can of pretend apple pie filling. And it also came with those boxes that say the royal flower and the princess sugar, but I can't find them right now, so I won't be showing you them right now. But you can see them in the Cooking with May May episodes. But the real cool part about this oven is that it also comes with little flattened desserts. This one's a cupcake. It also came with a pie, but that's one of the pieces that was lost. So here's how you play with this toy. You put the thing in the oven like this. And it also comes with this magic wand that you've seen May May use in the videos. And it and when you touch it to the heart, it goes like this. Oh. Well, I guess it must be broken. Hold on, let me try something else. Sorry about that. There's actually two settings to this oven. You can set it so that you can press the button without the wand or you can use it to only let the button work with the wand. But right now that setting's broken so I'm just gonna try pushing the button itself. Nope, it's broken but you see what it did. 
And uh, actually, I think the batteries might be dead. But what it should do is inflate this cool little thing to make it look like it's baking. And then when it's done, right now it's not, you can decorate it. It came with little decorator pieces. This one's for the cupcake. So you put that on top and voila, you got a, a very flat cupcake. Yeah, that's the that's the oven that's used in the cooking with May May show that that's now broken. Sorry. The next question comes from Kevin Lewis and he says, "See? See? Really? Um, I don't think I see what you're trying to say." Oh, come on. That was funny. Uh, let's move on. All right, the next question is from K. Woodsification. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, they say, Can you ask one of my Nick Einstein friends other than Plex to be in the videos? And then they give me a big list of who they, who they are. Um, well, I'm afraid none of those other people live in Kate's place. Don't get me wrong, they're awesome, but they just don't live nearby. And I tried calling them to see if they would make a cameo in one of our videos, but it didn't work out. Hello? 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 Huh, guess they're not available. Alright, we only have time for one more question. Actually, we only received one more question. Anyways, that question is from Riffington Dazzler Fangirl. And she asks, what breed are the talking cats? Well... I'm an orange tabby. So am I, only I've got some white on me. We saved this question for last because we've got a little surprise. Da 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 da! We've got another cat! Her name is Paisley, but she doesn't talk yet. Hopefully, she will soon. Whew, that was a great QA video. But it doesn't have to be the only one. Why don't you ask some more questions down in the comments below? Go for it! Ask any of us a question. One of us from Yo Gabba Gabba and Friends, or the Talking Cats, or the Webkins, or anyone. Alright, put, put your questions in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye!